Security for this month's London Olympics is a massive operation, as you can imagine. And on Tuesday, some residents who found themselves on the front lines of Olympic security lost their battle in court. They were trying to keep a missile battery from going up on their roof. Charles Dagada has the story now from London. Charlie, good morning. Good morning to you, Lee. There are actually six surface-to-air missile sites that will be in place in the coming days, but none as contentious as this one, where the surface in question is a residential rooftop. The storm clouds have been gathering over this apartment block inside of the Olympic Stadium for months. Ever since residents found out by a leaflet in the mailbox that the British Army planned to put surface-to-air missiles on their roof. This photo shows troops on the rooftop during a recent dummy run, and a resident filmed soldiers in a training exercise at another nearby residential site. They're part of a defense system to stop a 9-11 type attack, a plan that's been signed off by Prime Minister David Cameron. Residents say it makes their tower a target for terrorists. But you have army, army people in a residential tower block, that just tells you that something is not right. It's not normal. David Cameron probably doesn't have an, people dressed in army clothing in his apartment. Yesterday, they took their battle to Britain's high court, saying the deployment breached their human rights, and they lost. They do not need to ask you, they do not need to consult you, but can take over your home and put a missile on your roof, a tank on your lawn, or soldiers in your front living room. We have always believed that an Englishman's home was his castle not a forward operating base. The fight's not over yet. Lawyers tell CBS this morning they've met with British lawmakers to question why the government and Ministry of Defense are allowed to place missile batteries in residential areas with little consultation. We're not living in Bahrain or Bangladesh or Burma. We're living in Britain where we are supposed to be free of this type of control. Britain's senior intelligence advisors told the court deploying the missiles was essential for public safety, national security, and the defense of the country. The level of evidence from the intelligence bodies suggests there's a serious threat. Now, if we are not going to deploy our armed forces to do something about in these to do something about that in these circumstances, what is the point in having armed forces? In the last few hours, lawyers for the residents said they will not pursue their case in court with a legal appeal, but will instead question the government's powers in their own backyard, Parliament itself. Charlie, thank you.